The Ethiopian government has criticized the international community for its silence over attacks by TPLF forces, as well as the blocking of aid in the Tigray region. The government says the TPLF violating a unilateral ceasefire has caused a further escalation of the humanitarian situation. This unilateral humanitarian ceasefire um, was enacted by the government solely intended to enable humanitarian assistance for farmers uh, to utilize the rainy season. However, the TPLF have outright rejected the ceasefire, and this has been made public, and rather pushed the people of the region into further risk. Uh, following the government ceasefire, TPLF have continued with their belligerence and fatalistic approach of encroachment into other regions. So it's not uh, something that has remained contained within the Tigray region. Uh, but this encroachment has gone uh, further into the Amhara and Afar regions. So a clear double standard seems to be at play in the silence towards TPLF's harassment and overt belligerence. Uh, many that were echoing the well-being of Tigrayans in the region uh, are now mute when the TPLF is blocking aid. Uh, when there's killing of Tigrayans, it considers against the TPLF uh, structure. When it is recruiting child soldiers, we, we have seen a lot of evidence uh, towards that and testimonies from um, child soldiers that have been apprehended by the uh, security sector or the government security sector. Uh, again, the international community has been quite mute when civilians are being used as human shields and bullet fodder.